We just cannot get enough of Christmas in July, can we, Jocelyn? <laughs> Throughout the entire show, I'm telling you, you'll see more and more uh, beautiful items here on the set that'll get you in the Christmas spirit. Definitely. And one thing I really love is this concept of a coastal Christmas, considering yes. we live in a beach town, and it doesn't ever really feel like Christmas Christmas, except for like the two times it's snowed in our lifetime. <laughs> right. But there are some really cool crafts that you can do, uh, whether it's cold or hot outside, with things that you collect from the beach. Earlier, you mentioned collecting seashells. Mm -hmm. So what if you made like a cute little coastal Christmas tree or something cool like this. Well, we've got the inspo on how you can make this yourself. It's time to get in the spirit. That's right, it is Christmas in July and it is never too early to start decorating. So I'm going to show you two DIY Dollar Tree Christmas craft ideas and the best part is you can have these out all year round. Here on Coastal Living, we try to keep things budget friendly around here, so most of these items are from our local Dollar Tree here in the Coastal Bend. Here are most of the items you're gonna need for this project. You're gonna need a styrofoam cone, any size will do, but I chose the medium one. Next, we'll need a bag of shells. This I found at our Dollar Tree, but honestly, if you have more time, go to the beach and pick them up for free. Next are these starfish. For this project, you are only going to need one. First, grab your scissors, cut it open, empty the shells in a paper bowl. Next, you'll want to sort them each by small, medium, and large. As you can see, there are a variety of shells to choose from. Now, it's time to grab your hot glue gun, squeeze glue on the back of the shell, and gently place it on the styrofoam cone, like so. Once you place it, firmly hold it down for 10 seconds. Repeat this process until the base of the cone is covered. Once you add the first layer of shells, it should look something like this. For the next row, you want to layer your shells to cover the gaps that were created in the first row. When working with the hot glue gun, you want to be very careful not to burn yourself, like I just did. Even in pain, I managed to still fix the shell so it doesn't dry crooked. And here I am icing my hand because it actually really, really hurt, so please be careful. And once you do this, you keep going until you reach the top. And don't be afraid to use the darker shells. All the shells are beautiful in their own way. Don't forget, the farther you go up, the smaller the shell. So save your small shells for the very end. Once we get all of those on there, then we can work on the last step. As you can see, we finally made it to the last one, and now it's time to cover the top. The best way to cover this exposed styrofoam is to grab a small seashell, add glue, and place it on the top. And now it's time for the last part of this coastal Christmas tree. We're going to be putting a starfish on the top to bring this whole craft together. Place glue on the back of the starfish and then inspect your tree and find the perfect spot to put it on. And voila! A beautiful coastal Christmas tree. And the best part? It's easy, cost efficient, and it can be out all year round. 
I'm in love. I love it. This is something I could see you doing. I mean, I want to do it too, but <laughs> in your whole house, like all coastal colors. Oh my goodness. And you know, I look at these and I think to myself, she had to have purchased this from Hobby Lobby. Yeah. And a big shout out to our producer, Chella, for putting this together. I mean, so cute. The and most it's strong. It's beautiful. Sturdy. Coastal Christmas decor. 